God used a man named Paul to write the letter of Romans a long time ago to the people in the church in Rome who weren't getting along very well. They were fighting over what rules to follow and what special things they needed to do to have a friendship with God. But Paul had an important message for the people in Rome. We don't become friends with God by doing lots of good things. We become friends with God by believing in Jesus. Paul knew that himself when he put his faith in Jesus and God forgave him from some pretty awful things that he had done. We are given that same forgiveness when we put our faith in Jesus too. Romans is in the New Testament in the Bible. That means it was written after Jesus came to earth. It's toward the back of your Bible. If you have a Bible at home, we'd love for you to mark it with a bookmark and follow along with us each week. If you need a Bible, have your grown up send us a message and we'd love to get one to you. Okay, let's dive in. Hello there, friends. It's Miss Sarah here and this is my friend, Gloria. Hello, friends. We have been learning through the book of Romans in the Bible for several weeks now, and I thought it might be fun if we played a little game together to see what we've learned. Oh, goody, I love games. <laughs> Me too. Hey, can you guys jump up and down if you love games? <gasps> Good. Me too. Okay. First question, are you ready? You ready, Gloria? Yep. Okay. When we trust in Jesus, what can separate us from God's love? Oh, oh, I know. Um, it's when I don't listen to my grown-ups. Or maybe it's when I put old gum under the couch instead of in the trash. You put old gum where? Okay, well, back to the question. Nope, those things cannot separate you from God's love. Maybe our friends can help us out. Friends, do you know the answer? Can anything separate us from God's love? No. When we trust in Jesus, nothing can separate us from God's love. You are right, Gloria. All right, friends, we're going to talk about this some more in just a little bit. But first, let's stand and sing and worship our great big God. Let's go. Romans 8, 37 We are more, more, more than conquerors Through him that loved us, through him that loved us We are more, more, more than conquerors Through him that loved us, through him that loved us what can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? Nothing, 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 yeah. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. We are more, more, more than conquerors. Through him that loved us, through him that loved us. We are more, more, more than conquerors. Through him that loved us, 
through him that loved us what can separate us from the love of god that is in christ jesus what can separate us from the love of god that is in christ jesus what can separate us from the love of god that is in christ jesus nothing 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 yeah we are more than Than conquerors through him that loved us, through him that loved us, we are more, more, more than conquerors through him that loved us, through him that loved us. What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? What can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus? Nothing, 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 yeah. We are more than conquerors. Oh, Romans 8, 37, we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. Romans 8, 37. We are more than conquerors. We have been reading all through the book of Romans in the Bible, which was a letter written by a man named Paul to the people who lived in Rome. Paul really wanted the people to know that once they trusted in Jesus, nothing they could do would separate them from God's love. And Paul wanted them to know that they didn't have to do a bunch of good things to be friends with God. You're right, Gloria. You see, in the Roman church, there were two groups of people. And one of those was God's special chosen people, the Israelites. And they knew all about God and his promises. They started wondering if God was still going to keep his promises to them. Why is that? Oh, is it because anyone who trusts in Jesus can become friends with God? And God's special people wondered if they were still special to him? I think so. Friends, have you ever watched someone else get a present and wondered if you'd get a present too? Oh, that's happened to me before at my sister's birthday party. She got all these presents and I felt sad that I didn't get any. But then my brother reminded me that I would get presents on my birthday. Yes. It's so easy to feel left out when other people get good things. It makes us wonder if we'll get good things too. And I think God's special people were wondering if they would still get God's promises now that everyone who trusted in Jesus was part of God's special family. And maybe God's special people forgot that God always keeps his promises. I wonder, what did Paul tell them to help them remember? Hmm, well, I have a verse in mind from the Bible, but let's pause right here and let's do some drawing together. I think that would give us a clue to what Paul told us in the book of Romans. Let's go. Hey, Riv Kids! It's Miss Kelsey back to get creative together. Okay, go grab your drawing materials if you don't have them already. You'll need some paper, something to draw with, and something to color with. Go ahead and pause the video if you need a minute. Okay, here we go. 
So we have been talking about gifts today. A gift is something that is given without expecting anything in return. Let's draw one together. Okay, so you're gonna grab your drawing utensil. We're gonna start over on the left side of the page. We're gonna draw a line down and over and up. Kind of like the bottom part of a square. Okay, now we're gonna draw kind of a little hill connecting the two tops of the lines. Like this. Okay, now we're going to draw the ribbon on the gift. So we're gonna draw two horizontal lines going across the present. So one here, and then one just a little below that here. Okay, now we're gonna do more this way, but we're gonna have to stop at this line. So we're gonna start up here towards the middle left, and come down, stop right here, and then kind of follow it with your finger, and then this is where we'll start with our other line. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing over here. So start here, down, and stop right here. Follow with our finger, Now we're gonna draw the bow on the top of the present. So we're gonna start here, kind of make a little hill, and then one side of the bow, another side of the bow on that side, on both sides, and then the bottom of the ribbon. So like right here on the top of the present. Yeah. Like there we go. All right, now I'm gonna color it in. So, I think I'm gonna make my ribbon orange. You can use any color that you want to make your gift. All right, now I'm gonna color the rest of it blue. Okay, so here's our gift. God gives us a very special gift through Jesus, and the Bible will tell us more about what that gift is. Let's jump back into the message to find out. Before our break, we learn that once we trust in Jesus, nothing can separate us from God's love, and God always keeps his promises. Now back to the message. Before our drawing break, you said you had a verse that you could read from the Bible about the picture we drew. I drew a picture of a gift. What does the Bible have to say about gifts? Well, let me read our verse. Friends, the Bible is God's true words written for us. Follow with your eyes and listen with your ears as I read. Our verse is in Romans 9, 16, and it says, So it doesn't depend on what people want or what they do. It depends on God's mercy. Um, what does that have to do with a gift? Well, our verse tells us that 
we don't have to do a bunch of good things or follow all the rules perfectly to be friends with God. Now, at the time that Paul wrote Romans, God's special people were used to following rules. And they tried to follow God's rules all the time, but they forgot that they could never follow God's rules perfectly. I know I don't follow all my grown-ups rules all the time. There's no way I could follow God's rules all the time. And God knew that. God is more concerned with our hearts that we want to love him and to serve him. That's why he sent Jesus. No one is perfect. Not even God's special people who tried to follow all of God's rules. And Jesus did live a perfect life. He's the only one who could ever do that. Yup. And then Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins. Those things we do that make us feel bad on the inside or, or that hurt other people. But God raised him from the dead after three days. And so when we put our trust in Jesus, he takes away our sins and brings us into God's family. It is important to follow rules, but that's not what makes us part of God's family. It's about God giving us the gift of Jesus who takes away our sins. <laughs> You've got it, Gloria. And when we put our trust in Jesus, nothing can separate us from God's love ever again. Even when we sin again, Jesus paid for it already. You know, Gloria, you reminded me of our memory verse. Our memory verse is Romans 8, 37 and 39, and it says, We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's practice saying our memory verse together. Gloria, do you have some ideas for some silly voices for us today? Oh, I want to try a fancy voice. Oh, what a good idea. Friends, can you put on your fancy suit and tie or your fancy dresses and say our verse in your fanciest voice with me? Ready? We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. <laughs> How was your fancy voice? All right. Hmm. One more, Gloria. What do you think? Oh, what about a surprised voice? Like when we're surprised by opening a fun present. That's a good idea. Okay, ready? Are you guys ready? A surprised voice. Get your surprised faces ready. We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. How was your surprise voice? <laughs> that was so fun. So no matter how many good things we do, we can't be friends with God on our own. We need Jesus to take away our sins so we can be friends with God. You're right, Gloria. Friends, our takeaway this week is only God can save me, not the good things I do. Thanks for joining us today. Remember that you can check out the website or your grown-ups email for activities to go with our message today. Let's pray. Will you pray with me? Okay, let's fold our hands and close our eyes and talk to God. Dear God, Thank you so much for sending Jesus because we can't do it on our own. No matter how hard we try to do all the right things and, and follow all the rules perfectly, we're going to mess it up. And we are so thankful that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for all of our sins so that we can have a friendship with you. 
we love you so much. Amen. Amen. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.